the heck? D. D. Zazga the cannibal. Oh, jeez. Hey guys, Nate Willis here, and welcome back to another YouTube video, where today, you might be wondering, Nate, what is this? Does this look like freaking Minecraft 1.5 to you? To which I tell you guys that, well, first of all, I'm not in Minecraft 1.5, obviously, but, as you guys can tell, we are playing From Ashes. Now, this, From Ashes is a really old, um, 1.5 custom map made by the... Gustavo Entertainment Team, apparently it's a post, a post apocalyptic, I think I pronounced that right, kind of map where we were on some boat or something, we apparently survived nuclear holocausts um, in a boat. Now we arrive at some place called Monument Island and we just have to get, it's basically a complete the monument map. I'm actually making a complete the monument map myself and I obviously have all my ex practice from, I've been playing a lot of Super Hostile lately so I have my practice from that. But also, I did actually play the old version of this map, um, I tried to do a video of it on this channel, but I never, I only got like one video of it, but I have actually played a lot of the old version on this channel, As a matter of fact, I actually got all the way to Dungeon 16, the problem was I think I actually missed some dungeons, so, um, I don't remember everything though, so, we're just going to see how this goes, so. The worst part was I thought I had school today, but I don't. But anyways, we're not going to talk about that right now. So we got journal written by you, a.k.a. me. Not you, me, okay? Uh, day one. Finally, I'm on a boat in the middle of nowhere, and I'm failing great. Buying a sailboat was definitely worth it. I can now rest and relax far away from all the doomsayers and riots on the streets. Day four. Uh, the radio is broken. I can only hear static. No worries, though. There should be an island not that far away from my current position. I just... I just hope that nothing bad happened, especially after hearing so much about the inevitable war. Day 7. Oh god, it happened. It really happened. I've just, I've just seen a mushroom cloud on the horizon. For a moment, the sky was a brighter, it was brighter than a thousand sc- I cannot read today. I am very sorry, you guys. I mean, yeah, for a moment the sky was brighter than a thousand suns. I may have never seen a thousand suns before, and if I did, I'd probably go blind, but I make a pretty good comparison. They did it. They did it. Was it just one, bo one bomb or full-out war? I don't know. I hope there was a world to go back to. Day 11, a storm is coming. The waves are now, the waves are now four feet tall. Uh, that's not very big. I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess for me that would be pretty big. I'm only like five foot or something like that. Um, I am near the shores of Monument Island, coming from the north side, so I need to sail around the island. There's a harbor and a small city on the other side. Well, there should be. I need to know where I war. I need to find someone, anyone. But with these gigantic, humongous, four-foot waves that are around, I, I don't know if it's going to be possible. Ugh, alright, anyways. Whoa, Gustavo team. Oh, we got a credit, like, thing now here at the beginning. Gamados and Pisea 997, or Pisea, whatever, presents From Ashes Reborn. I'm excited for this because the old one was freaking awesome, so. Uh, oh god, Polish vodka. I don't need your stinking Polish vodka, okay? I don't drink alcohol. Besides, I'm only 14. Um, yeah, I know on this channel I actually used to say I'm 15, but I'm gonna have a vlog coming up about that. Um, later, so, rock hard. Did you actually rename the fish, or is that, like, a thing with this texture pack? Because I'm using the, uh, hold on, let me, let me see here, game mode C. I am using the, um, Sortex resource pack, uh, it's actually called that, or is that just... Well, that's interesting. So instead of fish, it's called cod. I guess I'm guessing that's the thing with this texture pack, unless that's something that they somehow added into the map. Mm -hmm. 
maybe it also could be there might be a texture pack built into this map I'm not sure oh jeez oh hey I'm gonna spam right click get this chest on um all right and the chain chest plate is low under ability this time but there I did get a couple of music discs that I'm never going to need Oh jeez, eh. Ooh, I took a little bit of damage right there though. And ooh, we got a chain chest plate, plus five armor, but it's not that good on the durability. Some sharpness two shears. Um, those aren't gonna be very helpful, just sharpness two. Alrighty, uh, cowy cow. Alright. That actually didn't. That only took a couple hits to kill him with these shears, but cows are weak. If I remember correctly, the shears were not a good weapon. Alright, let's get some of these. Uh. Okay, there's coal already. So, the way I'm going to be doing this map, I'm going to try and speed through it, and then after that, they also remade their second, their sequel to this map, which was uh, called From Flame. So, as soon as I complete this Let's Play, I'm probably going to be playing through that as well. And yeah, From Flames was really difficult. This map was pretty hard, and that map was harder than this map, so that's good to know. But anyways, there's no more cows or animals around. Vic, who was my best friend... Uh, Tina infected had to kill her, rest in peace, my wife. And those are the map makers. PC 997, that's definitely one of the map makers. I don't know who the other two people are. There's a bed down there! Don't they have stuff like a chest under the. Yeah. Stealing from the dead. It's not exactly the nicest thing to do. Potatoes, though, I, I could use those. And. Vic was my best friend. Alright, uh, that, that's lava. Okay. You put lava in a grave. Logic. They have uh, flags now. That's kind of cool. Or banners, whatever. So, Gustavo Entertainment Team presents From Ashes Reborn Version 3 for Minecraft 1.12. Map inspired by Vex is super hostile. Blah, 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 blah. Um, apparently, this was made in Poland. Uh, I didn't know this guy's new English. <laughs> um,. I think they took the old version and just, like, took the world for the old version and just did some edits to it or something. Because it looks mostly the same. I don't think they rebuilt it from, um, from scratch. So you can craft, play, bleh, you can craft, break, and place any block. Don't leave the map boundaries. Play an easy, normal, or hard. Not peaceful. Don't enter the nether or the end. Your goal is to find 16 wool blocks and place them on the wool monument. Don't craft wool. You'll find it in the dungeon marked by the beacon beams. There's a storyline and lore, but you don't have to pay attention to them to progress. Now, if I remember correctly, emeralds and records are your currencies. You can find three traders in the map. It took us 400 hours to make this map. Please share your feedback on the forums. Now, in the old version, if I remember correctly, there was a little code thing that you would get by completing the monument. Each um, each time you find a, found a piece of wool in a dungeon, there will be a buck next to it with a code. And if you would um, get the full code, it was basically like a YouTube URL or something. Just like a YouTube code that led to an unlockable video, which you could use that video to basically get to the ending sequence for the map, which I think was pretty dang cool. But I think now the map actually has a fully automated uh, endings, which I'm guessing means that once I complete the monument, it'll automatically switch to the ending. Oh, jeez. I figured that, it, that these would break more quickly with a pair of shears, but I guess I'm wrong. Um, alright, hay bales. Uh, there, there's already, I, I mean... I already have more wheat than I really need with these freaking hay bales, so... I'll usually grab some of these. We're gonna need all the food we can get. I probably could... I prob I'll probably be able to handle the earlier dungeons pretty easily, but the later dungeons I might have some trouble with. 
And I'm sure for those of you who have seen my baby's Nightmare Circus Let's Play, you would know that I am not very good with difficult games. Or difficult things in games. Like, I have a temper of... What do I have a temper of? Let's just say I have a really bad temper and I rage really easily. So, just a forewarning. Uh, I mean, I'll try not to swear or anything. I'm, I've been trying to swear less on my channel lately, so... I might actually... <sighs> Once again, the recording ends itself and interrupts what I was saying. But I might um, completely stop swearing at some point in this channel in my YouTube career. I don't really want to say career because I don't really see YouTube as a job. But I just turned the cinematic camera on by accident. Ad advancement made, sweet dreams. Uh, turn the cinematic camera off. There we go. Um, alright, I need, I need to actually get some wood here. Of course, the first thing I forget to do is get wood. Now, since this is a Minecraft video, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing a whole lot of jump cuts and stuff, or edits. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, you never know. I usually don't tend to do that much when it comes to editing my Minecraft videos. But yeah, anyways, up here, we sh there should be something up here. I got some ladders on me. Um, force field MK1. What? Ooh. Force field generator MK MK1. This is a clock. When in your offhand, you get. Plus 5 armor and 0 0.25 knockback resistance. Okay, thank you. And some force vodka. There was a cake here before. I guess it's not there anymore. Ow. Oh, God, I'm gonna... Wait, I'm using that. Anyways, melons. We got a lot of them. Probably not really gonna farm these. Might farm wheat, but definitely not melons. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and let's actually try this thing. So, plus, oh, yeah, that's a lot of protection we got if we use that thing. Holy crap, that is really helpful. This is just the beginning of the map, why are you giving me such cool stuff? That's a fish. Or a, a cod, as this texture pack likes to say. Uh, I'm gonna need the arrows, um... Goodbye World by Red Zinski. So that says, yeah, that's this guy's name, I guess. Let's actually go and get these bookshelves for enchanting. Um, Alright, they are dead. All dead. All hope is gone. I'm the last, last. I, I'm all alone. We survived five days in darkness, hiding from the fallout and acid rain, but we couldn't hide from them. Two nights ago, they came down from the mountains. Green, twisted creatures mutated and crippled human bodies with bones on the outside. They got Vic and started eating him. Then they went after us and... And Tina, I had to do this. Please forgive me. You were... You were infected and I showed you the only mercy I could. Ooh, that means killer. I saw that in the grave. But I can't live with what I did so I'll be joining you soon. It's time to find a rope and a tree tall enough. Goodbye, world. Crap, so he hung himself? <laughs> Well, that's clearly not, um, me. That's some other guy. Some other guy's, like, journal, I guess. What can I drop? Uh, probably don't really need all this wheat. I mean, I don't need the gravel, that's for sure. The stone I could use eventually. Balls on enchanting, I can use those right now. That was lag, I guess. I don't know why the delay, why there was that big delay. Uh, there's reeds. It's raining. Is it raining outside too? In real life, at the exact time that it's raining in Minecraft, I thought I just heard like thunder or something. Oh no, that's in the game. I think. Um, I might actually need to turn the rain off. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna hold on to these reeds. There's probably gonna be plenty of, uh... 
things. Does it say how much damage this these shears do? Because I'm not sure I want to use those shears. Okay, I'm not going to need these. Can I mine these any faster with the shears? No, not really. Makes sense. Why would you want to use shears to chop down a tree? I'm gonna need to make an axe at some point. Get rid of the shears, because those aren't the, they aren't a very good weapon at all. I remember this. Um let's go ahead and let's Um Let's make ourselves a pick just so that way we can uh I cannot talk to this. That way we can actually get these pieces of stone. I mean, I'm surrounded by stone, pretty much. Yeah, this, this texture pack also has a pretty nice cobblestone texture. I think the best cobblestone texture that I've seen is probably from the old Minecraft Enhanced Texture Pack, the 1.2.5 version, for those of you who remember that texture pack. Now, that texture pack had a really nice cobblestone texture, in my opinion. Now we can make a pickaxe and a furnace right off the bat but it would also be good to have a stone sword so we'll just go ahead and destroy that crafting table we're not going to keep this wood pick as good of an idea as it would be to be conservative in a world like this where danger is literally around every corner Now there is a little mini dungeon we're going to go after in this video, and I'm not sure how long these episodes are going to be. If it ends, if I end up recording for like 40 minutes or something, then I probably will have to do jump cuts and edits and stuff. Uh, <laughs> alright, we got some ladders here. This area was full of spiders if I remember correctly from before. I have, sometimes, when it comes to stuff like, um... I, yeah, when it comes to uh, gameplay and stuff like that, I have pretty decent memory, but when it comes to other things, especially things I don't care about, I have the memory of a goldfish. So hey, they at least blocked the area off this time. Or Just joking, they didn't block it off at all. There's a chest, there's a couple chests in there actually. I would appreciate it if they wouldn't get blown up. Okay, really? There were a lot more mobs in here before. I think it's just a couple spider spawners. There were a lot more spiders spawning from them last time. I remember this. Alright, that just leads back in there. Alright. Let's see what's here. Um... Alright, this is more like a mini dungeon, it's not like an actual, like, wool dungeon. So, no, we don't get any wool from going in here. I'm gonna just get rid of the melons, because those aren't really the best source of food. And, I'm only gonna keep some of the wheat, I got plenty of food as it is. Um, get rid of the compass, I don't need that. I can just use, uh, this thing, the, uh... The bug screen to figure out what direction I'm facing. Bricks, I don't really need them. And yeah, Creeper decided he wanted to, uh, internally combust. And by that I mean explode in here. So we got a potion of strength and diamond armor rec replica boots and some more balls of enchanting. So now we got full armor. We're a little better equipped to be heading into dungeon one today. Right now, I should say not today, what the heck. Um Oh 
Oh, I've been recording for Hold on. I uh, went ahead and checked. I've been recording for about 19 minutes now, so we can go a little longer. I don't want this video to be like Simulacra episodes. I don't want this to be like my Simulacra episodes where it's like 30 to 40 minutes. I only record Simulacra like that because it's such a slow and long game. So no trespassing. Stay away. Uh, we got a Phoenix Station. Why do you call that? It just gives me a reason. Um, Dungeon 1 Refugees Cave. So that's like the old med stations, basically. Um, we got the beacon marking this dungeon, and we got some coal, which I'm gonna mine. Um, I like how they actually, instead of just using a regular beacon beam, they use like an orange one and a regular one. Um, I'm in normal mode, so... The heck? The... The Zazga the Cannibal? The Zazga the Cannibal, alright. Hello, Disaster the Cannibal. Hey, did they actually, like, completely redo the look of this dungeon? I don't remember there being a ladder here before. I do remember there being zombies, though! Pigmen, I don't remember that either. Hey! Oh, wait, oh, these guys are, this guy's a pig man. At least he's gonna be kind of merciful. You're not gonna hurt me unless I hurt you, right? That's why they make it a pig man. Why is there such a tiny amount of mobs in here? Is it because of the lighting? Or is it because spawners never work the way you want them to work anymore? Literally, I was making a freaking... Super hostile inspired CTM map myself and the spawners were not working nearly as well as I as I thought they would. Alrighty, that's a husk I just heard, I think. Awake awaken the survivor. Imagine if water like hurt husks. Ooh, you have like a, a weird head. Alright, you have some sort of fire enchanted sword, it looks like. Alright, you're gonna be hard to defeat. And you have an Alex head, I think that's. Jeez, what kind of. He's not even wearing armor. Excuse me, she doesn't have an Alex head. I think it's supposed to be a, an actual, like, player head. Like, somebody's skin. I mean, that's supposed to render if you're connected to Wi-Fi, which I'm not, basically. So instead, it shows an Alex head. Are we gonna have, like, the invisible spiders like we had in the old one in here? this. At least it only puts one. Um, sea lantern, that'd be kind of helpful, I guess. Maybe backtrack my steps, I don't know. Mushroom soup? Bro, why did they change the names of everything and how did I never notice it till now? In this resource pack, I mean. I think it used to I think mushroom stew used to be called mushroom soup though. As far as I know, in the game anyways, it's not called that anymore, I don't think. Because spider might have spawned. Gotta check for silverfish. This may not be a Vex map, but 
It's definitely, it's inspired by a Vex map, and I know Vex's tricks well enough as it is. I don't think there's any silverfish moss in stone bricks in existence, so that's good. Spider eye. Um, I really need to cook the uh, cod and the beef. <laughs> oh, okay, we're in here now. Alright, this is the end of dungeon one, I think. So there was a little water area, though, which that's definitely something new because that was not there in the old one, so. Hey, I almost hit you. Don't do that. Um, Ozazga the Cannibal. And once again, I had to try and pronounce his name. Every time I, th every time I see, see it, I keep thinking Ozaga the Cannibal. Crap, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. And a creeper spawner. Joy! Well, this room is, has a lot of water. Hey, he created light by his little sizzling, with his little sizzling thing. Unless that was just the fact that I was holding a torch. In which case, I feel stupid. I'm just gonna eat these just to get rid of them. I know it's raw food, and I'm... I know I'm eating raw food. I'm so stupid, but... Oh, jeez, there is a lot of stuff here, and there's TNT. Is that TNT raised to blow up if I punch it? Cause I know you can do that now. Actually, we've been able to do that for a while, and that's a shield. All right, we got a bow. I have a ton of arrows, at least. Uh, I might need a spare little bit of armor. The question is, do I switch items? Once I start running into a lot of skeletons, I'm really gonna want to do that. Uh, raw cod. I'm actually really gonna need to cook that stuff. And the site, I don't need a coal. I do need. Okay, my cats are making a lot of noise in the background. I know what you think they're doing, but that's not what they're doing. They're just playing. And by playing, I don't mean saying what you guys thought they were doing. Okay. I'm gonna go in for like seven more minutes now. We might want to end it here. Hold on. I can destroy it. Alright. <laughs> this iron that that was I just heard a sheep the heck where did that come from uh all right let's get out of here and then we'll end off the episode there for now maybe we should actually defeat this dungeon because of the world right well we're right where um the wall is right around the corner here literally it's literally right down here if I remember correctly and I can actually see it it's Back here, white core. Don't want to grab all of it. Just in case I happen to die and lose it. Oh, jeez. Really? Okay, this isn't good. I'm just gonna run. Run. I can't fight that many silverfish with this freaking sword. Um, uh, geez. Crazy survivor. Uh, just running here. Kidding me. Thanks a lot, bro. I got weakness. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, trap ourselves in here. If you guys have enjoyed this episode of From Ashes Reborn, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, to join the vlog in the day, and also leave a comment if you wish to tell me something. And until next time, guys. Peace out.